Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see what George Yule tells in his book, The Study of Language, in Chapter 1, The Origins of Language, under the heading, The Genetic Source. In this chapter, we find that George Yule is trying to find out the different sources about how language originated in human beings. And in this heading, he says that if we are going to take human baby, and if we are going to observe the first few years of its life, we find that certain physical changes take place. For example, at birth, the baby's brain is only a quarter of its actual weight and the larynx is also is much higher in the throat and thereby it allows babies, even including chimpanzees, to breathe and drink at the same time. And this uh, further, if you notice, means in a very short time, the larynx comes down and the brain also develops and the child starts walking upright and also starts talking. And all these uh, developments are automatic and it also happens very fast. And this has made the scholars to think that human beings have a powerful adaptation and maybe this adaptation will also be a source of language development in human beings. Uh, even the children who are born deaf and therefore they even don't speak, they begin to communicate with others using a sign language and all that depends upon the circumstances which uh, happens to them in their early life. Uh, and all this indicates that human offsprings have the special capacity of language. Uh, and it is also considered that this is an innate, that is it is all, already inside them and this is not found in any other creatures. Uh, and maybe that is why human beings would have developed language and the other creatures were not able to develop. Uh, then is it possible that this capacity of language is a genetically more, uh, inborn capacity in human beings? Uh, and if we are going to take this as uh, the source of language, and if we are going to consider that language is an innateness in human beings, uh, and it is only because of the changes which happen only in human beings, uh, then it should be considered that language would have not developed very slowly in human beings, but it would have happened rather quickly than what we actually consider. And at the same time, we are not sure whether it is actually a genetic change uh, which uh, helped in all these uh, developments uh, and uh, whether the physical adaptations which were described earlier also can be considered. And uh, if we are going to consider this as a hypothesis, then the origins of language will move away from the fossil evidence or the physical source of uh, basic human sounds towards uh, another analogy like how a computer works, like how we pre-program a computer. And uh, therefore, it is, should be considered that human beings are born with a capacity with speech. And that time, if we have to consider this, then we have to take uh, the concepts from the study of genetics. Uh, and uh, we have to investigate the origins of language in search for the special language gene which will be present only in human beings and not in other creatures. Uh, then we have to think whether this capacity of language is possible only for human beings and whether the other creatures will never be able to produce or understand language. So this is the question which he has, uh, uh, which many uh, critics uh, and uh, language uh, scholars have uh, put forward. And in chapter 2, he discusses more about this. If you have anything more to add on to what I have said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.